of a lens. Howard's piece, entitled Shadow Dance, may be found on page 195 of the journal. Here's Howard. Thank you very much. And um, I'm sure the picture is up there, but to get the real picture of what it looks like, uh, go to 195 because it didn't translate well into the, into the Ethernet. Um, did you hear this one? A group of artists are invited to a dinner by a famous chef. In greeting the photographer, the chef comments, I love your photos, they're wonderful. You must have a very expensive camera. The photographer doesn't reply and walks into the dining room. And after dinner, the photographer approaches the chef and says, dinner was sensational, very exquisite flavors, a true work of art. You must have a very sophisticated stove. <laughs> So, my name is Howard Schultz, and I am honored to be here to talk about my photo shadow dancing that I shot with my Samsung Note 20 Ultra phone. <laughs> the picture was originally titled, Shadow Dancing to the Art of Christine Clark's 22 Gauge from the Racine Art Center, as I wanted to be sure to give attribution to her work as essential to my picture. But after being accepted into East on Central this year, I got a call from Judy asking if we could shorten my title so the caption would fit better, so I accommodated them, and here we are now with shadow dancing. But I want to make sure that you all knew about this wonderful piece of art, and you'll, you're going to see it shortly. I'm constantly on the lookout for unique or special images, which means being prepared to anticipate or react instantly to successfully capturing those special moments, which is why I've become adept at using my phone camera that I always have with me, except for right now my wife's video videos. Um, it's extremely robust in manual and automatic features. Up until this year, I always felt it proper to leave pictures in their original state, with only some minor adjustments for contrast and lighting when needed to mirror what I actually saw. But it was after last year's excellent presentation by Robert Lumley, a very experienced photographer, who described how he had transformed his lovely tree branch in the rain into the cover photo, Summer Rain, that I felt it was kosher for me to get more creative and trying to transform some of my pictures as well. So let me quickly take you through the process that got me to shadow dancing. And I'm going to trust that you'll follow me properly here. Um, we went to the Racine Art Museum, my wife Jan and I, um, which is a really cool museum if you haven't been there. Um, and they have wonderful exhibits. And one of the exhibits was by Christine Clark called 22 Gauge, made of steel and synthetic hair. Um, the picture was lit with spotlights that made interesting shadows on the wall. And I discovered that I could insert myself into the light to create an accompanying shadow. With that in mind, my inspiration, Jan, uh, posed in various ways as I took multiple pictures, adjusting angles, light in the shadows, black and white, color shots, finally playing with filters to find different colors to bathe the picture in, ultimately settling on blue, while highlighting a double shadow of Jan had created a little enclosed heart and symmetry with the background of the 22 gauge. I used Samsung's substantial native editing program, plus an Android program called Pixay Pro that I've been using for years to continue the transformation, and Photoshop to help me adjust color matching for printing purposes. And voila, shadow dance. So finally, here's a question for you. How many photographers does it take to change a light bulb? The answer is 50. One to change the bulb, and 49 to say, I could have done that. <laughs> so, as one of the multitude of people who always wished they could, I'm truly honored to have been asked to talk about my, my photo, Shadow Dancing. Thank you very much.